everybody to The Play. It's Tuesday, June 18th. I'm Dave Morris. We'll take a look at some of the stories you can expect in your editions of The Oklahoman on tomorrow and on NewsOK.com. Among those stories, an NTSB report has been released on that train crash in the Oklahoma Panhandle from last summer. We'll take a look at some education rankings for two universities in the state, and those temporary pet shelters from the tornado are set to close tomorrow. But first, an update on some, some news coming into us. Uh, the Oklahoman's Brian Dean is reporting a valedictorian is missing, and Nick Chagox from the Oklahoman's newsroom, I'll let you fill us in on this. Yeah, we were just found out about this really here in the past half hour or so. We spoke to the parents of a, uh, a student who just graduated from Classland School of Advanced Studies. His name is August, uh, August Rieger. Um, him and his family were on vacation in Ecuador. They went for a hike in the mountains, and August got a little bit ahead of the group and then just vanished. They don't know where he is right now. This was Sunday night, and a massive search now was unfolded in Ecuador. Uh, the military there is involved. They're thinking that two likely options right now are one, that he may have been kidnapped, and you never know with Central America and South sure. America. Uh, and tensions there. The other, perhaps he took a bad step and, and fell off the side of the trail down the mountain or something like that. Neither one of them obviously is a great option for the family, um, but we've been in contact with them over the phone and uh, we're trying to bring our readers up to speed on what's happening down there. Search efforts continue with that family. Yeah. All right, another story that came out today. The NTSB report was released. It's a story our Chris Castillo is, is working on. This involved a train crash from last summer. Yeah, there was a hearing in uh, Washington, D.C. today that Chris was covering and uh, some very troubling findings from the report. Uh, the NTSB is suggesting that one of the train engineers had severe vision problems, so much so that he couldn't see the signals that were supposed to tell him whether to stop his train or proceed forward on the tracks. And what they think happened is that he blew through a signal that he should have stopped at. It caused the collision, of course, where three people died. Uh, one guy jumped off the train and was able to survive. But um, I think a lot of people remember you know, the images we had in our, in our newspaper on News OK last summer of this massive smoke plume when these two trains collided and derailed. But uh, the question we're asking now is, why was this uh, engineer still allowed to pilot the train? And it looks like the train company may have known that he had vision problems. Mm. Another report uh, Silas Allen is tracking, uh, perhaps a little bit troubling. It's a consumer, re consumer ratings report, if you will, uh, about two universities. Yeah, this is a report from the US News and World Reports. And what it looks at is the effectiveness of some education programs. And this is a list you don't really want to be on. Uh, but two schools in Oklahoma have now ended up on the list, East Central in Ada and Northeastern in Tahlequah. And the report specifically cites their teacher training programs. And uh, in bad news for the school, the report says it's not worth your time or money to go attend these programs to get trained to become a teacher. So we're following up with the schools. Uh, we imagine they'll have a very different take on this report. And another follow-up, you'll remember from the storms, there were pets that were not claimed uh, from their owners. Some temporary pet shelters were set up. What's the update on this? Well, there's two temporary pet shelters and plus uh, the Oklahoma City Animal Shelter. All three are housing pets from the storms right now. And, you know, we're coming up on now about a month after the first one. And they have announced that the deadline is coming up. If you haven't claimed your pet, these pets are not going to go up for adoption. They've said Sunday is the deadline. They're encouraging people who, who have lost a pet, and even if you're frustrated with searching, to maybe come by the shelters one last time and take a look to see if your pet's there. Uh, because if not, they're going to go out for adoption Sunday, and they hope to get all, I think, 200 some odd pets into new homes. And if I read that uh, correctly, the shelters close on Wednesday, the adoption's on Sunday. That's right. All right, Nick Tragakis, thanks for your time. And again, sure. uh, we let off with a valley touring lesson from class and school of advanced studies down in Ecuador. So stick with newsok.com for updates on that. Great evening, everybody.